Hey guys, I came in here looking for the distributive property of multiplication, but I had no idea these guys were in here too. I am being chased by number-eating sharks and I am one of the tastier numbers around, so you can imagine how scared I am. Why don't you guys learn about the distributive property of multiplication while I lose these guys? Sound good? Thanks. See you back here when you're done. The distributive property helps us find a product that we don't know by breaking larger factors into smaller factors. This can sound a little scary, but once we understand it, we will see that it is not that bad. Here we have the problem 7 times 7. I still struggle with multiplication, so I am going to use the distributive property to make this easier to solve. We are going to take this 7 here and break it apart into two smaller numbers. The distributive property only allows us to break apart one of the factors in an equation. 5 plus 2 equals 7, and we can now multiply each of these numbers by the first 7 in the problem. I know that 5 times 7 is 35, because I know my 5 times tables. I also know my 2 times tables, and 2 times 7 is 14. What we just did was take the first 7 in the problem, and multiply it by both the 5 and the 2. I did not know my 7 times tables very well, but by breaking the numbers apart, I was able to solve these two equations. Wait, are we done yet? No, we still have to finish the problem. In order to get the answer, we need to add the 35 and 14 together. 5 plus 4 is 9, and 3 plus 1 is 4. Wow, 49 is the answer. That is awesome. So 7 times 7 is 49. Even though we did not know our 7 times tables very well, we solved the problem by breaking apart one of the factors into numbers we knew how to multiply. Then we added the 35 and 14 together and got our answer. That is amazing! It looks like the sharks want us to try another problem. Here we have 8 times 6. Let's break apart the first factor, the number 8. There are several ways to break apart 8, but I want to use 5 plus 3 because I know my 5 times tables. We now need to multiply 6 by both the 5 and 3. I know that 5 times 6 equals 30. What does 3 times 6 equal? 18! Great job! We now need to add the 30 plus 18. 0 plus 8 is 8, and 3 plus 1 is 4. 48 is the answer. 8 times 6 equals 48, and we figured that out using the distributive property. We were able to find the product or answer to a multiplication problem by using the distributive property. Can you see how using this method can help us answer hard multiplication problems? Wow, thank you guys so much for joining me. I was able to lose the sharks and all is good now. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Hey, did anybody hear something? Eh, probably nothing. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh oh. Uh -oh.